This is Q from Q's music channel. Gave you a little sample of a little bit of snap and pop. And today we're going to review some beginner tips to getting some left hand and right hand dexterity with playing the bass. Uh, what we're going to start with is an exercise that I highly recommend for left hand dexterity is you pretty much want to try to have one finger per fret. I'm not, I don't have real big hands, but I can get close to one finger per fret. Pretty close, but not dead on. But with a little bit of a uh, extra technique, you can work around that. So don't let having large hands not deter you. Don't let, don't let not having large hands deter you from not playing the bass, okay? So what we're gonna start out with is just taking one fret at a time, real slow, and eventually you'll build your speed, but how it goes is you're gonna go one fret at a time, going to each string. And you can be doing alternative picking while you're doing it with your right hand. And we'll go over the right hand after the left hand. So the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna go as follows. Take your metronome and start out with maybe comfortable speed for you and just do the exercise real slow until you can get your fingering just right. I kind of over exaggerated that exercise just to make just to show an example of what I was talking about. So try that, set your metronome for 70 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute. Eventually you can work yourself up to over 100 beats a minute. But just start out slow, take your time. It's, it's going to take time, so give yourself time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. The next we're going to discuss is the right hand technique. It's just a matter of using some alternative picking, what I call it. And how it goes is, this is a four string bass as you can see. We're going to start with the E string, A, D, and G. G, D, A, E. And we're going to just do a few strokes and go to E string up and down. So as it goes, you set your metronome again for having it beats a minute that, you, that you're that you comfortable with. Maybe start out with maybe 70 beats per minute or 100 beats per minute, what you're comfortable with. And it goes as follows. That's an example of some alternative picking on the right, the right hand technique. Again, take your time, set your metronome slowly to a slower pace. Just take your time and you'll work your speed up to over 100 beats per minute, beats per minute eventually. And that, these tips will help you with your dexterity in your right and left hand. Now we're going to discuss some basic slap and pop techniques using your left and right hand. Slap and pop technique requires you to use your left and right hand at the same time. So the first step is you want to get familiar with your left hand technique. And usually with the left hand technique, you work with octaves. And as you know, or if you may not know, each scale, every scale has a root. Like for example, C it has an octave, which is eight notes away from that C. Or eight degrees to the next C, which is an octave up. So, for example, if I was going to do the key, uh, the note, the G note, which is right here on the third fret, one, two, three, that's the G note. An octave up from G is you go one, two, three, two frets up, and go up two strings, and that's your 
as your octave. So it goes like this. And so on, if you go to A, A, again, up two more frets from A, one, and I make the third, three, one, two, three, go up two strings and you're at your octave. And any note you pick on the fretboard, it, it, the same applies. If I go to C here on the A string, third fret, up two strings, that's the octave. So C, okay. So that's a good left hand foundation to start on your, on your slap and pop. And what you're gonna do is, as you strike the note with your right hand, on the string that, that you have your root on, you're gonna pop with the octave. For example, if I go with the F, okay. If I go to G, A, That's a basic for starting out with slapping and popping. Now, if you go to your right hand, you'll notice that you gotta let your hand just kind of float freely. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little technique called muting, that's also a left hand technique. But it's gonna slightly have my hands over the strings so they won't vibrate as much. That, that's a, just a good technique for slapping and popping to, to deaden the strings keep the strings from raining as you're going from string to string. Okay, so a good exercise for the right hand is just stay loose and relax and hit the string. You want to hit it with the kind of the meat here. Kind of it's like a little bit of a meat hard section right on your thumb. You just kind of want to hit it, strike it to kind of bounce off. You notice I'm dead, I'm dead in the note, I'm muting the note as I go. Deadening and stopping it. And what you want to do is you want to go through all four strings and like before, like with your left hand technique going from fret to fret, fret to fret, and on your right hand te technique, alternate picking from string to string, the same applies for the right hand technique for slap and pop. It goes as follows. Now once you have gotten very comfortable with your left hand fingering, fret to fret, string to string, your left hand technique, doing your octaves, and getting comfortable with striking the strings with, your, with the meat of your thumb, each string, and while you're doing all this, set your metronome up so you can keep a good steady pace, going from string to string. And what you want to do is once you get all that kind of going, you want to incorporate it all together. For example, okay, that's a pretty good way to start out snapping it, snapping it, popping. Okay, what you can do is you can add a little rhythm to it. You can go to the A string and do the same thing. Okay. And again, this is just an entry level to snap and pop. With practice, you'll become faster and more proficient at it. Just give yourself time. And don't be too hard on yourself again. So, those were some tips today on 
some basic left hand and right hand technique with fretting, alternate picking, left hand muting, and right hand popping along with the slap and pop method. I hope you enjoyed this video today and there'll be more videos to come in the future. Okay, have a good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Q's Music Channel.